the game though back to game here we are okay so let's try this again and see what happens I've just pressed the button and yeah this is much better okay so uh, now I'm making a recording of this I, what have we done here we just because we can we've uh, built a rail to connect various villages here on the VSTE server I say we because I put down about 20 layers of track. But look what everyone else has been doing. Well, I've been messing around with trying to get Camtasia going. What have you guys been doing anyway? Uh, let's see. I am putting beds and doors in various spots in these dwellings. Derelict cottages, villages whatever. that you've allowed yeah, to... Uh, under the old administration, they did nothing about these derelict villages. They were just... I don't know what they're investing in, but anyway, maybe pocketing the money themselves. So now that we're back in charge, we can put doors on houses and make people happy. Is that the idea? Right. Uh, give them workstations so they have um, jobs they can perform. Everybody needs a job. Hey, so good. back to full employment. Uh, the farmer needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. No more. The farmer to needs to tend his crops. Uh huh. Okay. How many villages have you connected? Tonight, I believe it's three. Mm -hmm. With including also a, an interesting rock formation. Ah. Okay. Does the rail I, does the rail I'm on go past that rock formation? Yes, if you go in the other direction. Ah. Okay. Well, I'll, I can do that. Uh, did I just pass over that rock formation? Was it snow covered? Um, it, it is snow covered, but not the snowy area you passed over. Ah, okay. The little south of that. So okay. when you get to the end and turn around and go the other direction. I'm getting to the end. Do these villages have names? Is there a case? Not yet. That's yeah, something, that's we, something need we, do. Need. Yeah, okay. we need to do. Yeah, we Okay. All right. Well, I guess this one is Beam Village because it's got a big beam on it and a couple of really nice flags. Oh, but they and they so, all have beams. <laughs> okay, I'm heading. Oh, okay. Well, it's Red Bean Village, and uh, okay, I'm heading back the other way. And so, uh, if you know where I am, just uh, tell me where to look for this interesting rock formation. Okay, I'm following you on the what they call the dynamic map. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, where we can see out on the web. <clears throat> We can zoom in and see the villages and the, mm -hmm. the landscape. I'm familiar with dynamic maps. So like you're in a snowy area now and you're about to enter a wooded area. Uh-huh, you're right. And I'm going up and okay, I'm about to make a turn. Okay. Right, and that's going to take you south. Uh-huh towards these rock formations we were talking about. Ooh. Oh, I think, yes, I see them up ahead. Okay. Yeah, so that's that was the reason for the railroad. This is a scenic railroad you've built deliberately yes. to connect these rock formations. So I'm making a trip like we do through the American West. You got these uh, rail cars, which oh, that's very nice. Going to an arch here, and there's pieces of rock up in the sky, which is kind of unusual, but well, not in my yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> no covered ones too. Yeah, which was odd. How do they get there? Uh, that's a good question. Oh. We need to make a warp, I guess. Did uh, oh. did they just occur there? <laughs> I mean, they were just there. You didn't. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I do believe they do. Oh, they okay. just appear. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <coughs> unless, unless someone was here before us and built them. Mm, mm hmm. Oh. I guess to do that, you would build a mountain, and then you would, or you would just cut away all parts of the mountain. That yes, I guess so. Kind of like. Okay, so my it looks like my uh, my trip is my my machine is getting low on resources and it's just come to the end of the oh. journey, and we're at Bluebeam Village. Right. Yay. Okay. And everyone else is working in the last village. The last village. Okay. So uh, I don't know if you have to get out of that cart or if I you think can. I will. What if I fly over there? 
So you could do that. Yeah, okay, so let me see. Which way? It's going to be southeast. Southeast, my flyer. You can follow the rail. Or you could just fly following the rail. That's a good idea, John. Okay, or I could get in another rail cart and go, but I'm not sure yeah, if I've got to. Okay, here we that go. I'm getting so laggy, it's possibly no, it's going. Yeah, that was a problem when I had full screen. I wasn't getting any action on Minecraft. Oh. Okay, so it looks like I'm coming to the Yellow Beam Village. Is that where you guys are? Yep. Right. That's where we all are. Cool. Taking care of various things. I was putting out torches and doors and beds. Uh, uh -huh. K4 was putting a wall or fortress around the village to protect it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure what uh, Nitro and Dark have been doing. Let's see. Let's see if I can see what you guys are doing. Cause, uh... Oh, I see someone down here. That's, that's, that's me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jumping up and down. Jumping up and down? So, yep. Okay. So what we'll probably do next time is there aren't very many villagers here, so we may have to come back and, in creative mode, spawn some villagers mm -hmm. and hope that they find a workstation and pick up a new career. Mm, okay. How, can you determine their careers? You can make librarians um, or whatever? Well, if, if a villager wanders near the uh, librarian's lectern, and then supposedly they become the librarian. Ah, I see. Uh, kind of like the or way we, we, we wander near a school, all of a sudden we're stuck in a teaching career all our lives. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is that or how that if happened? You, right, if you spawn a villager next to one of the workstations, sometimes they'll take on that career. Uh-huh. Ah. Let's see. Maybe I should try that right now. Looks like someone's Let's building see. a wall here. Oh, that's a wall, of course, to protect the villagers. Right. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to test my theory. I'm going to spawn a villager next to the Fletcher stand. Okay. And see if we get a Fletcher. Right now, he's just... Oh! He became a librarian. Now oh that's my odd. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, librarian. Oops. That's the librarian. So... Uh -oh. Uh oh, I'm not getting any response on this librarian. I'm not, not getting a response at all. I probably have lagged. Oh, here we go. Okay. No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, and oh, yeah. No, I got him. Okay. So you see, he wants paper, and he'll give me an emerald for paper. What can you do with an emerald? I could buy a bookshelf. And the guy next to him is. I think that's a fisherman. So my theory about spawning them next to the workstation didn't work. Oh, okay. Well, at least now it you should. Know. I'm there. I got a farmer, a fisherman, and a librarian. How do and you I spawned them right next to the Fletcher's table? How do Let's you uh, spawn them? Um, in your in creative mode, uh -huh. uh, you can type in villager, and there are two types of eggs that appear. Oh, okay. Let's see. We'll uh, one check that is out. a regular villager, and I think one is a zombie villager. Okay. Yeah, you don't want those. <laughs> those are bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Hazardous to your villager health. Yes. Let's see. Very There's positive. two eggs here. There's a zombie villager spawn egg and a villager spawn egg. Okay. Yeah, don't spawn a zombie one. No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Not here in the middle of your village. That'd be mean. The workstation that you were trying to get them to spawn against may have already been claimed by a villagers who's wandered off. Ah. If it's claimed, they won't be able to claim it. Oh, that's so sad. But I just put the workstation so, out. So, and and there were a couple unclaimed. There were a couple taskless villagers around. Well, hopefully so they'll one of them come back now. Them. So how do you? Um, create a workstation. How do you spawn. set up? Where do you get well, that? Well, um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you still have the slideshow that um, K4 sent you. There was a slide that showed all the villagers and the various 
workstations that would they would go with everything from an armorer, butcher, um, the farmers. Okay. They each have their own workstation, and you would have to know which villager or which workstation goes with which villager. Okay. Like the butcher, the butcher has a smoker. Um, uh huh. But how? But how? How uh -huh. do you get the workstation? Is that in the slide as well? You can. You can also in creative mode. You can search for them. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, if you went into your inventory mm -hmm. and searched for smoker, smoker, you'd see what it looks like. Okay. Or if you searched I for see, yes. stone cutter, stone cutter, that's huh? what a mason would use. Okay. So you kind of have to know what all of them are. Now, in survival uh -huh. mode. Can actually um, craft them. Uh huh. Okay. You have to find the recipes for yes, that. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So okay. Well, I, I'm learning something that I didn't know before. But um, yeah. So you so you can either get or craft a workstation, and then right. you can spawn a villager. But now, if you're in survival, how do you spawn villagers? You can't just search for their eggs. No, um, but you hope that there's a few villagers around. Uh huh. And supposedly, um, if they're happy and there's enough beds and room for them, they will uh, reproduce. Mm hmm. So you sort of just wall them into a village, basically. And, um, yes. Yeah. And make sure you have enough workstations. Uh huh. And um, you can also, once you have villagers, Mm -hmm. There's a trick of feeding them loaves of bread. If you have two villagers together and you give them loaves of bread, they will then be happy and mate and little baby villagers will run around. Matter of fact, there's a little baby one now, I see him, over behind you. Yes, Nance. I see him, okay. There he is. <laughs> and they grow up to hopefully... Oh, there he is. He's so cute. <laughs> Grow up to be um, a working villager. If not, they're just a nitwit. Ah, uh, okay. And unfortunately, there are a lot of nitwits that show up in the village, and they do absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, and the world is full of them, so what can we do? Just have to deal with it. <laughs> Yeah, I see. We you should you should be able to uh, get them a job, Nitwits yeah, now. Really? Mm -hmm. But sometimes you you just well, can't. Well, I sometimes wonder if the village is so packed and full, and all the workstations are claimed, if that's why some of them just become Nitwits. But I see we have a shepherd and a um, Fletcher now, right behind you, Vance, that have claimed their workstation. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. This would be a, let's see, this is a Fletcher, yes. And if I had some sticks, I could get an emerald. Sticks, gosh, I could probably get a lot of those. Then he would give me flint and gravel. Gravel? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have to give him an emerald and ten flints to get gra to get a, uh, uh, to get a flint. I have to give him an emerald and right. gravels. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't really need to trade with villagers to get these items in creative mode. <laughs> well, I think you can still do that. But the thing is, you can just go right into your inventory there and you go. pull it out. Where in survival mode, you've got to go out and find the resources yes. to trade with. Yeah. Well, you can... If you find a Fletcher, though, you could come up with um, where did he want sticks? He, you could you could find yeah, give him wants, some sticks, and he would. And that's easy to come by. And then you could get an emerald. He wants, and, right. Mm -hmm. He wants sticks and flint because he's going to turn them into arrows. Mm, that, I see. Ah. that then later you can trade for arrows. Ah. Oh, great! Ah, okay. Dark added a safety door. Yes, where, that's important. Where is that? That's safety. Oh, the safety door is in the wall somewhere. Right. I believe it's over near the. Was it near the rail system, possibly? 
Yeah, it'll only keep out big mobs, but... Right. Because unfortunately, some of the mobs still will spawn in the village, right? The occasional spider or creeper. Oh, mm. the farmer's working. Isn't he cute? Here we go. Here's the safety door. Uh, the safety door is... No, that's an arch, I guess, over the rail. That's not a door, is it? It's a uh, fence gate. Ah. Uh. But it would keep big mobs from coming in. Mm. Ah, okay. Not that they like to walk on rail that much anyway. Mm -hmm. The rail opening is probably already safe, but oh, this is, why not? This is cute. One of the farmers is working the crops. <laughs> He's already harvested some wheat and put something in the compost pile. And is he going to come back? There he goes. He was planting. I wonder if I take the weed out there. I took the weed out. Let's see if he plants something. Well, farmer. I don't see anything in his compost pile. He's just going through motions at the moment. Right. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Now he's he's just harvested some wheat and uh -huh. he's taking it over and composting it. What are you doing with it, dude? <laughs> he doesn't want you to know. Yeah. He's funny. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like I got an interesting recording for the last Yay. 15 minutes. So that means I can post it for you guys. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, sure. And hopefully people will come, come in and join the server and help us fix up these villages because they were in pretty sad shape when mm -hmm. we found them. Well, there's a great incentive to come in and uh, ride the railroad and find the different villages. Yeah. So. Well, and it's fun to have a project that you can continually add to. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure at one point, at some point, we'll put it back into survival mode, mm. which makes it a little more challenging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this, I, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. see, we finally have a butcher. Good. The really interesting thing about our server is I think Dak might have acquired powers because he's got some one of his usual builds, but um, the rest of us don't have powers, and that makes it very interesting. I kind of like, I mean, this is this is one dimension where you can you know, spawn villagers and do all the interesting things you can do actually right. with students that would, uh, you can certainly seg this into teaching and, you know, right. have them do so many creative projects. But, uh, oh, but then on the other hand, oh, I was uh, teaching in a military college. My idea was to go in, have them all parachute into some place in survival and then create a compound and, um, you know, survive. That's similar to, mm -hmm. yeah, I used to do that with my Minecraft club. One of the first challenges I gave them was to um, build a place and they had to have shelter, they had to have food supplies, um, water supply, crops, you know, that they could grow. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was interesting watching them work together and divvy up who's going to do what. And you kind of see who your leaders are when you do that, too. Mm -hmm. I think one time um, Dak invited us to his server, one of his servers, and he he had a place where we could um, we could all meet. But then the idea was to head out at the crack of right. dawn and all move in mass and find a place and start he flew overhead and took videos, but we had okay. no we had no powers, and we had to uh, just create these um, you know create a place to stay and stay alive and right. um, you know figure it out. So, but it's very interesting, and, and the the way people did it, they didn't have uh, any tasks. We just knew what to do. So right. you know, kill some sheep. Um, 
<laughs> create some kind of shelter, you know, dig up some stuff, uh, make beds inside the shelter from the sheep. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing on my oh, server right now. I haven't seen on the one I, on the one we're, we're meeting on on Sunday. I haven't found any sheep. I've been all over the place. Oh. I found cows, pigs, ducks. I, I can't find any sheep. And are you in survival mode? In survival, yeah. In survival. Yeah. One, with no I was going to say, if you're in creative, you just spawn a sheep. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but that's too easy. Yeah. Survival mode, they tend to show up in, I guess, particular biomes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure which specific ones. Yeah, we're in the jungle biome, and then there's kind of, a, it gets more... Yeah. Uh, I don't think you're going to find sheep in a jungle biome. No, no. <laughs> and, but even, yeah, going out the rivers, going as far as I can find, and I can't really find any other biomes. There is another biome where I've got a home. Uh, I could I could maybe start in that area, but I think for Sunday, I'm going to have to go with what I've got already. Well, I don't know. I could maybe explore yep. the other one. Uh, yeah. We got some messages. People are saying, are they saying good night or something like that. Yeah, a few people have logged off. Mm -hmm. um, I know K4 had another uh, appointment mm -hmm. at nine, uh, um, and it looks like a few other people have left. I believe oh. there's only three of us left here in mm -hmm. Minecraft. Gar? Yep, I'm gonna head out in just a I second. I am too. Yeah, I needed. I need <laughs> okay, well, I'll uh, put the recording to bed, and then uh, I'll post it on Discord so you guys can see where it is. Great, and feel free to come back to the Visti server and mm -hmm. log into Minecraft if you want and explore. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, Dark, if he, come, if he leaves in creative mode when he comes back, will he be in creative mode? No. No, he'll be in survival. Okay. Which is... Which is as it should be. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, so even if I wanted can. to be in survival, <laughs> how would I get back to this place? Well, I'm assuming if you log off from here, when you come back, you're going to land here. Oh. Because yep. you, you'll yes. be where yeah, you're you're right. you you're left. Right. Is, yes, okay. Right. So it'll be you coming. landed back at the banners today, mm -hmm. right? I'll come back in survival mode, which is fine. Right, right. There's food over there and... I tell yeah. you what, maybe we'll put a chest of supplies out so when people come back, <laughs> there'll be some swords available to help yeah. fend off the yeah. mobs. Yeah, could do that, or could That's just let people fend for themselves. That's true. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it's nice to have things set up. It's also nice to leave things for people to figure things out. But that's not very good for newcomers. <laughs> if you have newcomers to your server, right. you need to help them quite a lot. So. Right. Yeah. Well, and some people get really frustrated if they come in and immediately die out. Yeah, you know, exactly. So. That is frustrating. That's the way I started. But but then Jeff Kuhn was with us, and he built little shelters. And so when we spawned, we found his shelters. When, if you can find a shelter, like, the, like where we are right now, you've got shelter. Right. You can survive a night. So, uh, right. And then you can, you can, as long as you can stay alive, you can... Uh, uh, you can find things, and uh, and you can if you meet other people there, they can show you what to do, and uh, right. your your frustration will diminish as it gets interesting as you learn to cope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you very much. Let's see what what this is the fifteenth uh, of uh, September. It looks like, and this is uh, the VS. For you. <laughs> 15th of September for me. It's the 14th of September, yeah. Monday, for the people in doing Minecraft Monday tonight. For me, it's the morning, of September 15th. And uh, this is VSTE. That's Virginia Society for Technology and Education, something like that. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's been around we for quite a while. We refer to it, yeah, we, we call it VIST. VIST. VIST? VISTI. VISTI. VISTI, that's what I said, wasn't it? Yeah, you said VSTE. Ah, well, yeah. Safety. Well, I was recording. I, I, this is on the recording. <laughs> this is the outro, so uh, so that people who listen to it will know when it took place, and uh, also who right. is here. 
Okay, well this is Vance Stevens in Penang, also known as Teacher Vance, and I'm talking to Jasmar. And uh, we've been meeting all the friendly teachers in the Virginia area, I suppose. I guess that's where you guys are. Are you pretty much in the same area? Actually, um, Dark, I believe, is up north. Mm -hmm. and, um, From Maine. Maine, right? From Maine, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not sure where Nitro is from. He's already left. Mm -hmm. um, but K4 and I are in Virginia Beach. Day Miami and Darian, who were on, uh, are in the Roanoke area of Virginia. Uh huh. So we're spread out all over. Mm hmm. Yeah, now you're spread out to Malaysia, half yeah. a world away. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, see you guys uh, whenever I see you again. I'll send you some information also about the. Uh, uh, EVO Minecraft MOOC play date we're, we have coming up. If you're interested, you can join okay. us. And okay. yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Talk to you later bye. then. See you around. Okay. All right. Bye, Dark. I'm heading out too. Okay. Okay. See ya. Let's see. I will. What do I stop first? Uh, maybe I have to hit escape in order to get to where I can stop the recording. Okay. Good night, everybody.